This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Well, welcome back. In this lesson, what we're going to take a look at is masking. To this point in the course, we've sort of been playing with them, but never really dug into some of the really cool masking techniques that you can employ using After Effects. And we're going to answer all those questions now. So to get yourself started, let's open up the mask.aep file located in your Lesson 11 exercise folder. And when it opens, you'll see a uh, video of a place I love to go to. It's called Blue Springs. It's actually a scout camp. This is the actual spring itself. Now it's a little washed out, so we're going to uh, start off by uh, throwing a filter on it. And let's select it. Effect, color correction, levels. And you can see that the black point and the white point need some adjustment. Just give a little adjustment there. And bring the grays in just to add a little bit of darkness. There we go. That's fine. And we can twirl it up. Okay, let's get started. Now, there are a couple of ways of adding masks. Uh, the first way of adding a mask, of course, is to just use the good old pen tool. And if you uh, click and drag the pen tool, you can see that once you connect, you've got a mask. Now, when you create a mask, you can see the mask right there. You can actually change the uh, shape. You can uh, add a feather to it. See, I can uh, feather it out so I can make it look very much like a vignette. I can affect the opacity, as you can see. And I can even take the mask out even further if I so choose. So there are all kinds of options that you can do here. And your clue right off the bat is that yellow line. If you see a yellow stroke, then you are looking at a mask. Okay, let's get that out of there. Another way of making a mask and playing with masks, of course, is to just select the layer, get the pen tool or even a shape. We'll just work with shapes this time. And we'll just draw that out like that. And we'll take that mask and we're going to give it an opacity of 100%, but we're going to take the feather out a bit. Don't like that. Okay, there we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a circle. Okay, so we're going to come over here. We're going to grab the ellipse tool, and we're just going to draw an ellipse. And I'm going to draw that a little bit bigger because there's a technique I want to show you. So it's sort of come from the halfway point. That's it. Like that. There we go. And you can see that it creates its own mask in the uh, layers panel. So you've got now two masks. Now here's where it gets really cool. If you've got these two masks and you want them to expand out, let's say, we'll just put zero feather on that. That's done using the blend mode. So if I come to mask two and use subtract, you can see that we can take out that chunk from the square mask. If I select intersect, all I get is the intersection of the two. Lighten, well, that's what it does. And by the way, all masks use the add mode. Now, if I come here where I say intersect, you'll see nothing happens. Darken. Because it's really not affecting anything. So we'll do a none on that one. And you can see there's the circular mask. You can turn that off. Back to the add mode. And if you deselect, you can uh, see how these things work. Difference. There is no difference. There's the subtract mode. See that uh, not good. We'll just go with add. We'll take subtract there. All right. So that's one way of creating a mask. Notice that you get the yellow outline or the outline. You can merge them by actually playing with the blend modes. All right. Let's get these masks out of here. And I'm going to show you how to create a very simple text mask. We're going to delete that. Same image, only this time we're going to get the text tool. And I just want you to click once, choose a big font. Let's go for 200 pixels. So I'll just come over to the text. 200 pixels. And I'm just going to type in the word text. Now the word text is currently over the video. And here's how you actually create the blend right here. Stencil alpha. Boom. Because the alpha 
is outside the text, it's going to stencil it out. And that's how you can create a hole. The other way you can do it, of course, is just stencil Luma, which uses the brightness of the text layer. And it's kind of neat because you can move it around. And you notice that you can move the video around inside because I've got that selected. Or I can just choose the text layer and move it around. And that tells me that I can do simple things like move a mass. So if I do a uh, position, I can uh, create a keyframe here at the start, come over to the end, we'll say about eight seconds in, and we'll change the position to here. And we might even just give it a little crazy path. And then if I just hit the space bar, you can see that you can move the the text along, the mask, yeah, while well, the video plays in the background. We'll just stop that. So there you go. There's a couple of ways of creating a mask. Kind of neat way you can create a text mask by using the uh, stencil. And in the next exercise, what we're going to take a look at is actually using alpha channels from imaging, and it's pretty cool. We'll see you there.